what I wanted to talk to you guys about this morning was last weekend, my husband and I went away um, for two days. It was going to be three days and we ended up um, coming back a little early because of a hurricane that was in the Gulf that was kind of flooding the area we were in with storm surge. So anyway, we went away for a couple of days um, overnight away from the kids, which we have never done before. Um, my, my oldest son, Brayden, did inform me that, yes, you've been away from us overnight when you're in the hospital having babies. And to inform him that that really doesn't count. That was not um, alone time or away time for mom and dad. <laughs> super important to squeeze that in when you can. Um, of course, not make it a every other weekend thing and, you know, but a couple times a year, I think we are going to start making that a priority because when the kids are gone, it's just going to be him and I again. So we need to really um, focus on one another and our relationship and our marriage and um, we put God first. The way God wants us to do it is to put God first, our marriage second, and our you know family and our kids third, um, which is a really hard thing to do. I have fallen into the trap for many years of the kids are number one, first and foremost, and it takes a toll on me and my health, and it takes a toll on um, our marriage and. So it's really something I'm focusing on lately is God first, marriage second, kids third. <clears throat> Not to say, you know, throw the kids by the wayside and their needs don't matter. It's, 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 it's hard. You gotta, there's a lot of details in there to work out, but super important thing to do. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's what God wants us to do and it, it helped us relax and just kind of reset ourselves and remind each other why we're doing this and why we're fighting so hard for our family and our marriage. And so we are in Cedar Key. It's a little cute historical town. We have never been here before. We're in these little cottages, which they're, they're like little old cracker houses. They said that they fixed up and made into like a little hotel. So it's a neat little place. Um, and we're really, really enjoying ourselves. We had a really nice dinner, some of the best food I think I've ever eaten. Um, that some people at my husband's work recommended to him, and so I'm sitting here with my cup of coffee and my Bible and Bible journal. And there's a really super nice breeze. And the sun is coming up right into my eyes now, but um, the sun is coming up, and I have just been dreaming about sitting on this porch, drinking my coffee and getting some really good time in with the Lord this morning. So, hub, hubby went off fishing first thing this morning and uh, we'll see if he catches anything. We'll see you guys in a bit. 
It was super fun. We got to do, um, we went away to, it was kind of like the beach, but not a beachy, not a family beachy area where you could, you know, lay your lawn chair out and swim and surf and all that. It was more of a fishing and restaurants and kind of more of an adult atmosphere. Um, so we did get there Friday and um, had really awesome food and went back and rested and of course my husband did a lot of fishing. Um, and it seems like it was funny I was talking with another friend who had gone away with her husband recently and she's like isn't it funny how much you can do in a short amount of time when you don't have kids with you it's like we did this and we did this and we did this and we rested and we took a nap and we all of that in like two days it was so funny so we did get a lot of stuff done we spent a lot of quality time together we spent some time talking spent some time sitting on the little back porch by the water and drinking coffee and getting in my bible and um, doing some really good prayer and so it was a really great time um, it was really needed and I feel much better